Okay, hey everyone and welcome to a brand new Class 66 Rocks review. Now this review is the YouTube 5 year special. So this is to commemorate my 5th year on YouTube. Um, so February 2016 will be the 5th year since I've started my channel. So as you remember as you may remember last February I did the fourth year special so this is the fifth one but today we've got something quite special today um, I had this particular set for Christmas of my parents um, but this is the first time I've actually got round to opening it because due to work commitments over the Christmas period and university assignments and exam revision I've not had much time recently to get many videos done but um, this week I have had my exam at university, so that's that out of the way. Um, so I've only got one more assignment to hand in next week, and then the week after that I start a new unit. And then I do that till June, and then that is it till September, till I go back again. So, without further ado, let's have a look at what we've got today then. So, as you can see today, we've got the Virgin Trains Pendolino set by Hornby. I'm just trying to get it all in the camera so you can see it. And I'll just push it back a bit. Okay, that should be about right. So, we'll just level the box up a bit. Okay, so, as you can see, it's the Virgin Trains Pendolino set by Hornby. But it's not just any Pendolino. It is the... Alston Pendolino livery. Now I have actually seen the real life ones of these going through Crew Station but I've always wanted this particular set so I've waited a while for it and at Christmas I received it as a present off my parents like I say. Now what I'm planning on doing um, because this year due to moving house etc um, with us having no layout in the loft anymore I thought I'll Maybe set the trap mat up, uh, maybe put on a bit of board or something, put some track with it um, and make a mini OO gauge layout somehow. Um, I haven't quite thought how big the board's going to be yet, um, but it all depends like whether we move house fairly quickly. Um, so yeah, so let's get on with the review then. So as you can see in the box we've got the Hornby trap mat. We've got the Alstom Pendolino, which is DCC ready. We've got some track, so we've got curves, we've got a point, we've got some long straights, we've got a buffer stop, we've got some short straights, and we've got a short curve. We've also got the piece of track with the power connector on. We've got an AC wall adapter and a standard Hornby DC controller. And as you can see, the, this Pendolino has the tilting mechanism, so if I just zoom in down there. So as you can see it's got full it's got tilt action, mechanical pantograph and working lights. So as you can see it's a double O gauge train set, so we'll just zoom back out again. Now I've got this particular set in my living room because um, there's not enough room in my bedroom to get the entire box into the camcorder range and I've got my tripod set up quite tall today so I could fit the box in. So I'm actually behind the camcorder at the minute. So let's get the set open and take a look at it. Okay, so we'll just move this box out of view and we'll bring the box back into view. Okay, so as you may have heard, I've got my cockatiel in the living room with me today. So I'll just come over here and just see if I can quiet him down a little bit. Okay, so I've just been over to him um, and he's gone quiet now so <laughs> it must be because I'm doing my review today it must be into trains that's all I can think of 
Okay, so as you can see, the first thing we've got is the Hornby trap mat. I'm not going to take it out of the packaging um, to show you the full length of it, um, obviously because we haven't found anywhere to put it yet or got any board to put it on. So that's that. So as you can see there, it just says X5867 trap mat and instruction leaflet pack. So I'll put that there. So the next thing we're going to do is we will take this bit of card off here. And I'll just fold that back. So that bit of cardboard was covering the locomotives themselves. So let's start at the bottom and take a look at each of them. So as you can see, they're each protected by this bit of plastic sheet which really does help to protect them actually so it is really quite good so as you can see the first part of the train that we're looking at this is actually the dummy car I think because there's not much weight to it so the power car is the one at the top of the box so let's start with the front of this one so as you can see we've got the Virgin logo on the front of the locomotive and also the Alston wording just above that, which is just below the windscreen. Um, we've also got the windscreen wipers, as you can see there. And the lights on the left and right hand sides. Turning the unit round to the side now. As you can see, we have the, num the running number of this locomotive, which is 390004. Because... Obviously the Pendolinos are the class 390s. So as you can see on the side, we've got the Virgin logo. And we've got the absolutely stunning Pendolino Alstom livery. I mean, just looking at it, it, it is just absolutely outstanding. I mean, you just cannot fault Hornby at all when it comes to the Pendolinos. So, as we can see, we've got some windows. Just here. We've got about five of them, if you can see that. And we've also got four wheels on either bogey on the front and back of the dummy car. So, as you can see here, this will be where the passengers enter. Now, I've seen the real life one of these in crew. I've seen them in Macclesfield. I've seen them all over, to be fair. Um, but if we just zoom in here, you can see we have the light up LED boards as well. I mean, wouldn't that be amazing if they lit up on the models to say what class the passengers were going into? So turning the dummy car around to the back, you can see we've got um, the area where the coaches all go together. I can't remember off the top of my head what the actual name for them is. Um, had a bit of memory loss, just. So if you do know, please leave your comments below. I think it might be with all the studying I'm doing at the minute. Um, it's just remembering so much stuff. Okay, turning the dummy cart back round to the other side now. Again, you can see we've got the door where the passengers enter. Moving along, we've got the stunning Alstom Pendolino livery, along with the windows and the do another door. And on the front there, we've got the Virgin logo again. And again we've got the running number which is 390004. As you can see we've also got some side windows just there. So taking a look at the roof area, as you can see it's pretty basic on the dummy car. Um, so there's nothing much to show you. Um, so we haven't got any etched fans on this particular model. But that doesn't matter because it is such a great locomotive. Okay, so that's the dummy car. So what we'll do now, we'll just put the wrapping back around it and put, place it back into the box and then we'll move on to the other areas. Okay, so I'll just place that back into the box and we will take the one of the carriages out. Okay, so let's again, let's take this plastic sheet off. Okay, hey everyone, I'm back. Apologies for the dogs barking just, so I've just resumed the video. Um, what happened, something blew down outside because it's quite windy outside today. Um, so let's continue on with the review then. 
Okay, so as I was saying, the next thing we're looking at is one of the carriages. So, as we can see, this is one of the first class coaches. So I'll just zoom in so you can see that. As you can see there, we have one with the word first class. Okay, so as you can see on either end, we have the doors where the passengers get in and out of. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight windows on the coaches all together. So these go in between the main um, locomotive and the dummy car, so it would be the powered car and the dummy car rather. As you can see we've got four wheels on either bogey. Now these are really quite lightweight. Um, I'm guessing it's because obviously the til tilting action, um, because they need to be, otherwise if they were really heavy I don't think they would tilt at all. So as you can see we have the word Alstom Pendolino on the badge at the back just there. Now I know these Pendolinos carry all different names um, so by now they've pretty all been named into different names. Moving the carriage round to the back as you can see we've got some little hazard warning panels which were also featured on the locom on the dummy car rather We've also got the coupling mechanism under there to connect the coaches to the dummy car and the main powered car. Turning the coach round to the side again now, obviously as you can see again we've got the doors and we've also again got the panels that light up in real life on the door just there. So as you can see again we've got the windows. Now the ones here are actually smaller than the ones there but as you can see we've got the number one which tells us that it's a first class coach. So taking a look at the roof area now as you can see it is quite basic and there's no extra fans or anything but there's like areas have been made to look like the fans of the real Alston Pendolino. So we've also got a grey area just here. I'm not too sure what that's for. It might just be the design of the roof or a vent. But if you do know, please leave your comments below. Okay, so we'll put this back in the box and we'll take a look at the next one. Now, as you may have heard, we have another interruption, um, which is a road sweeper coming past. So I'll just wait for him to come past and then we will get on with the review. Okay, again, hey everyone. <coughs> apologies again, I'm back yet again. Um, that time it was the road sweeper going past on the pavement. So I think everybody along my road must know that I'm doing a review today because I keep sending interruptions to interrupt the video. <laughs> I'm only joking. Um, so let's move on to the next review then. Okay, so next we've got another first class carriage. As, oops, it's not the camcorder there, but the tripod. So, as you can see, this one's a bit different. So we'll just turn it round. Okay, so on the front and back of the carriage, you can see we've got the doors that open. Again, we can see it's a first class coach, hence the number ones on either window. Well, next to the windows, but we've also got... The words, is it first class, on the windows themselves. So I'll just zoom in and see if the camcorder can pick that up. Um, it's not, it's blurring it, so I'll just zoom back out again. And I'll just see if I can see what it says. Okay, it doesn't say first class, but as you can see there's little white stickers on each of the windows. It actually says quiet on them. Now I'm not too sure why it says that, whether it's coaches for people who like to relax, um, but if you do know please leave your comments below. As you can see, they're first class coaches. So again, there's four wheels on either bogey on the front and back, but on the top of this particular one we have 
a working pantograph. Now, I know some people with the layouts who have the pantograph system installed probably connect this up to that, um, but I'm going to leave this down for the time being. Now these are really, really fragile. Um, I've had them on locomotives that we've had on the loft layout when we had it like class 90s or class 92s etc. Um, but for now we're going to leave it down. So turning the coach around to the back now again as you can see we've got the hazard warning panels on the top left and right hand side just there. And again we've got the area where the, all the coaches and the cars lock together. And we've also got a coupling mechanism on the back just there. Now I won't be running this locomotive in this review. Um, that all depends if we move house fairly quickly or whether I set the track mat up with some track on it. But we'll see. So moving the coach round to the other side now. Again you can see we've got the doors. We've got the windows running the length of the coach. Now what isn't on the coaches is the Alston Pendolino livery. So in some ways it is actually on it, like with the blacked surround on the windows. But it hasn't got like the Pendolino Alstom livery on the bottom. So what we'll do now, we'll put this back in the box and take a look at the dummy at the powered car. Okay, so last but not least with the locomotive section we have the powered car. Now this has got a bit of weight to it. So it's not as lightweight as the dummy car which is there. So this is the driving unit of the class 390. So let's start with the front. So as you can see we've got the Virgin logo and the Alstom logo on the front of the locomotive which are just below the windscreen. As you can see we've got the windscreen wipers on the windscreen as well and on the left hand right hand side we've got the light. Turning the locomotive round to the side you can see we've got the running number which is 390004. We've got the stunning Virgin Pendolino Alstom livery on the side so as you can see that's made up of the Virgin logo and moving across we've got the Alstom Pendolino design printed neatly onto the side of the locomotive. As you can see it's a first class car again so all, I'm guessing all the Pendolinos are first class. So turning the locomotive upside down now you can see we've got the four bogies on the four wheels rather on either bogey on the front and back. Again we've got the door where the passengers enter. Turning the car round to the back now you can see again we've got the warning panels on the back and also a connector where we're going to connect the coaches all together so this one will be at the front and then we'll have our two coaches behind that and the dummy car at the back of those two so turning the car round to the other side now as you can see again we've got the door where the passengers enter and the LED light up board We've got the first class sticker on the top there, and again, just by the windows. As you can see, the Pendolino Alstom livery is very neatly printed on the side of the powered car. And again, we've got the Virgin logo on the front just there. Okay, so, that's the locomotives done. So what we're going to do now, we're going to move round to the rest of the contents okay. that are in the box. So, we've done the locomotives and the coaches. So let's have a look at what else we've got in the box then. So I'm not obviously going to take the ties off these, but these are the curved straights which we get in the box. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've got eight curves. So as you can see, it's not like Pico Flexi Track, it's actually molded 
to a certain angle. So we'll put them back in. Okay, so the next thing that we've got are the straights. As you can see, home we've put the long straights on the top and the short straights on the bottom and tied them with a cable tie. Underneath that we have the powered piece of track which is just a short straight with these two connectors on just here. So obviously wires go into there and you then just press them down to secure them. So the next thing that we have is our Hornby point so as you can see that clicks over so you can either have the locomotive going in a straight line or you can set it to go into a siding so the next thing in the track area we've just got a short straight just here as you can see so I'll just place these back in the box Okay, so the next thing that we have here is the Hornby AC adapter. So obviously this plugs into the back of your controller and this will go into your wall socket. So that is actually quite lightweight. So we'll put that back in the box. that in there so it goes in. Okay so the next thing that we're moving on to is the Hornby DC controller. Now as you can see we've got a left and right hand side switch just here. So we've got the power button that controls the speed of the locomotive it is actually quite smooth actually so I bet you could get the locomotive running really smoothly. I mean I know with our layout we had the dynamic system so I'll probably just be using this maybe for a bit of testing etc. Um, but I'm sure, oh there we go, yes, that pushes across for the direction as you can see. So it is really lightweight this particular controller but on the back as well We've got the input socket for the wall controller, the wall adapter, sorry. We've also got the two pins on a connector which go into the piece of track which I showed you previously. So put that back in the box. Okay, so last but not least, we have a buffer stop and we also have some rings. Now I'm not too sure what the rings are for but if you do know please leave your comments below. So one thing which I forgot to show you um, when we opened the box was actually the back of the main box itself. So we'll just slide that out of the way a minute and I'll bring this box back into view like so. Okay so I'm going to just zoom in so as you can see over there we've got our trap mat. Now I'm sure that particular locomotive, if I'm not mistaken, is that the Flying Scotsman? But as you can see, we can get all different types of Hornby buildings um, to put on the trap mat to make it look a bit more realistic. So zooming out, as you can see down here, we have the trap mat in its different formations. So you have to buy different trap packs I'm guessing to make the track system bigger so it ends up with something like that up there so as you can see um, I might get some more track packs I'm not too sure yet and also as you can see we have the various buildings so you've got your goods shed you've got your engine shed, your signal box platform, water tower um, and another small station with a platform so like I say it depends on the house move 
and how quickly that goes through. Um, but if I do decide to put the trap mat on a bit of board, then I will obviously include it in a video. So that is it basically. The Hornby Virgin Trains Alstom Pendolino set.